came to Bill called Ellen Hopkins at back. <laughs> <laughs> Very odd, girl, you want to be watching her. Huh? And there's some friends and relatives of people who happen to be up here in the audience tonight. And you have to feel really sorry for them because they've got a little bit like some us for the rest of the year. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Oh, yes, being poor. <clears throat> oh, if only my dear husband's parents were here. But he went to the doctor's the other day, you know. And the doctor told him that he had to walk five miles every day. Five miles! Well, he went out the following morning, and last I heard of it was a postcard from Blackpool. What we be giving to feel free like fish and chips?
Robinson, and if it's a double glazing salesman, tell him that if he hasn't got anything to keep the dinner up, I'm not interested. Mother, this is Mr. Rupert Troublebottom. He says he has some very good news for you. Good afternoon, Mrs. Crusoe. My name's Rupert Shufflebottom, and I represent the Wizzo Washing Powder Company. You know the one that goes... Washes your whites, whiter and white, whiter and white. Wins and washes your whites, whiter than white, than white. Wins and washes your whites, whiter than white, whiter than white. Wins and washes your whites, whiter than white, than white.
I shall call you Girl Friday because I met you on this day. Does this island have a name? Oh, yes. When I am on other island across water, I let sit on the beach and I sing about it. It is my special island. Oh, really? <laughs> Oh, 
Tell him me! <laughs> Send big places in the ground to take little ones. One, two... <laughs> Like the island where the treasure's buried, we're soon gonna be rich, that we will. Oh, hello, what are you lot doing here? Not <laughs> after my treasure, are you? Yes! Oh, you got a to say that? <laughs> anyway, I better introduce myself. My name is Captain Anthony Aloysius Orson, and I'm the master of the good ship Parson Wing. <laughs> Lard here. This is my apprentice, Roger. Roger the captain boy. And this here is Barnacle, the parrot. And every time he speaks, I need a new waistcoat. Look. <laughs> so you better shut up, otherwise I'm going to roast you for me supper. Now Jim and me, Jim, Roger and me, <laughs> we've not had him very long. <laughs> I don't know how long an outfit might have him. <laughs> Roger and me, we found this map at the Phoenix on Sunday market. And with it, we're going to be rich. Rich, I tell you. Now, what's it saying? Take 20 paces to the west and 10 paces to the north. Off we go. One, two, three. They must be the pirates that girl Friday was telling me about. I think I'd better build my shelter further into the trees so they can't find me. Oh, am I having trouble? <laughs> I went the wrong way, totally. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try 20 paces to the south and then... <laughs> John Nobody's got to sit in there tomorrow. <laughs> 20 paces to the west. No, no. <laughs> oh, oh, I am getting in a real mess here. <laughs> I'm going to take 20 paces to the south and then 10 paces to the east. <laughs> I've done it again! <laughs> I'm getting pace, I've got 10 big ones, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no clue, the treasure's not that way. I'm getting a bit suspicious that there's someone else after me treasure. <coughs> you know, I tell you, there's two things in this life I can't stand. One of them is miserable, snivelling children. You know, the sorts who go to pantomimes. <laughs> And the other is that disgrace for a pirate, Captain Blackpatch. I hate Blackpatch, and I bet it's him that's half the treasure. You'll know him if you see him. He's like the Julian Clary of the Seven Seas. <laughs> He's like Captain Pugwash in a dress. And here's a bit of a warning for the dads. If you see a ten pound note on the floor, don't you bend over and get a problem. <laughs> now you might wonder why I hate Blackpatch so much, but I'm going to tell you. About ten years ago, me and him and Barnacle, we were doing a bit of business on an island, if you know what I mean. Well, I was up for a bit of murder and rape and pillage. But old Black Patch, all he wanted to do was sit on the beach making sandcastles <coughs> and discuss crochet patterns with the naked women. <laughs> Mind you, I've got a lovely set of toilet roll covers from him. <laughs> <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> Roger, 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 Roger.
ship are over on other islands. Oh, that's wonderful news, Friday. Oh, I shall be able to sleep much more easily at night knowing that. Mm. Will you take me out with a bite? Oh, will you take me over there with a bite? Oh, I could do, but Papa Coco Bon would soon come and get me and take me home. Then I shall take you home with me if we ever get rescued. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
one of them had woman's hands. Mm. <laughs> and I thought the truth happened if I hadn't of that magnificent ape man swinging out the trees and surprising us. <laughs> yes, that's very cowardly the way he crept up behind us. <coughs> Just let him come this way again if he dare. Yeah. Look, I'll tell you what, I've had a cunning plan. Yeah. Why don't we wait round here and hide? They're bound to come back again. No, that's useless. There'll be hours yet, and this one only paid for a two-hour show. <laughs> I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll search for them. You go and look in that direction, I'll go and search over here. Okay. Oh! <laughs> oh, sir, what? <laughs> you attacked me from behind, just me. Attacked me from behind, I was attacking from the front side or behind. <laughs> You must have been imagining things like that. Just carry on looking over there. <laughs> oh! Black Patch! Yes? You accuses me of attacking you when your back is turned, and along with my back is turned, you attack me! Captain Lawson, <laughs> I wouldn't attack you with a six foot crooked crutch. <laughs> <laughs> you must be imagining things like so keep looking. Imagining things, was I? Well, imagine this! Oh, look, he's got a limp sword! Big face at all. 
all the islands are invited. Oh dear. What's wrong? There was one boom titty boom less that time. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> They've run out of chips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Mother and the children are on the other island. What on earth am I going to do? Can we go over there and save them in your boat? Yes. Come on, let's go. You have got no treasure, Yes, tell it to where it is before I slit out your liver and serve it with a nice candy. <laughs> yes, we know where the treasure is. We were just going to get it. It's on the other island over there. Ooh. You can come with us if you like. How long will that take? Uh, uh, about 15 minutes. That's oh. perfect. That's just enough time for the boys and girls to get a nice cup of tea from those nice ladies at the back. <laughs> but before we do that, we better have the half time song. Music, maestro, please.
than you today. The stomach feels so empty, it feels like throat's been cut. Yes, <laughs> and I've got a rumble on as well. Your tummy, Ooh. it is always the rumble. Yeah. We have stroke of luck today. Yeah. Mighty sea god provides yeah. shipwreck for us. Ah. Many meals on board. Oh, goody, 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 my favourite tourist stew. I hate tourists. Oh. I want fresh food. Well, why don't you just eat the vegetables? I want fresh food, don't you understand? I can't. I want to know what I'm eating. I don't want to get this mad cow disease. Oh, 
moves forward. Can't we change him for a newer model? <laughs> Look at him, 32. He looks more like 42. What's he been doing? <laughs> yeah, we just don't seem to last these days. Quality's really gone downhill. Yeah. Do you know, my mum once told me that in her day, she could make a man last for 10 years before he was scrapped. <laughs> I wonder if I could make a man last more than 10 minutes. We know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
face, I wore hard with me. I tried to go, but she showed me more when the green tree of heights I see. And he teaches us to sing. 
He teaches all the children. He likes the children very much. So do I, but I couldn't leave another one with you. Yes, and... Eh? What is this? Is it? Thank you very much. Hello? What? I couldn't do that. Not possible. Not here, anyway. <laughs> Who would you do that? You naughty man. This man! He's very good. He's a wonderful musician, you see. Best musician we've ever had. Or not. And I tell you what, he teach everybody to sing, everybody to dance. He know classical music and pop music, and he is wonderful on these organs and these wires. He come to Ireland to plug in. We got no electricity. <laughs> you are a very good man. Did I say it right? Did I tell it the way you said? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Give me a big hand. You're a very good man. I thought you were going to jail. <laughs> I thought you were ugly, aren't you? I didn't realize a woman could be so ugly. Well, I don't know. I have seen you before without the mask on. <laughs> the wind may blow and the rain may fall. Spiders and beetles and bugs may crawl. But the girl is fear. One thing I'll call in a trace. Not one! Not two!
Wedding? Wedding? What wedding? Ah, wedding of Alice to Robinson <coughs> with Chief Cook of all the daughter. But who's going to perform the ceremony? There isn't a priest within miles. Ah, as passengers on board my ship, you're technically still under my care and command. And as captains are authorised to perform wedding ceremonies, if I may be a bride. The repairs are complete, sir. The good ship came that's ready to set sail. Good. Well, we're away and get off to the wedding ceremony. Prepare to cast off. But first, let the wedding commence. Let the festivities begin. Yeah, I know. 
say one of the names. We've raised up between four and five hundred pounds, I think, with your kind donations for teas, raffles, etc., etc., and programs. Is that correct, Kitty? Yeah. 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 Lovely. We've got to thank one or two people. Uh, basically, uh, not I produced because I produced. <laughs> was Jim. Jim wrote it and directed it and he's had a lot of stick from it. Where is Jimmy? Come on Jimmy. Come on. The young lady who did all the uh, choreography, dancing, <laughs> set it all for us. Yeah, where is she? Another person who's really made this show go and he's been over rehearsal, John on the keyboard. Home, he plays with, he's a drummer, he's the bass player, he's everything, even the phone operator. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> There's lots more we're going to thank everyone out the back, out the front here. Kenny Smith, who does all the drawers and everything, gets them sorted for us. Simon and Richard on the lights, and we've got our backstage people who stood in, and there's people at the back there, dressers, my wife, who did the wardrobe. Not going to bore you any longer, we'll let you go home. Thanks for turning up. See us next year.